గుణాలి గారు ఈజ్ అ గ్రేట్ ఎడ్యుకేషనిస్ట్ అండ్ యాక్చువల్ గా ఈజ్ ఎ వెరీ గుడ్ లీడర్ ప్రొఫెషనల్ లీడర్ ప్రొఫెషనల్ ఆర్గనైజేషన్ లో ఎన్నో రోజులు ఇంటర్మీడియట్ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ లో చాలా సర్వ్ చేశారు నాట్ ఓన్లీ ఏ లీడర్ ఇన్ ప్రొఫెషనల్ ఆర్గనైజేషన్ బట్ ఆల్సో ఈజ్ కనెక్టెడ్ టు వేరియస్ డెవలప్మెంట్ ఆర్గనైజేషన్ ఒక సోషల్ డెవలప్మెంట్ ఆస్పెక్ట్స్ కావచ్చు లేకుంటే ఒక అగ్రికల్చర్ డెవలప్మెంట్ యాక్ట్ చూపించు చాలా వరకు ఒక ప్యాషన్ ఉన్నటువంటి ఒక ఇంపార్టెంట్ పర్సన్ యాక్చువల్ గా సో ఐ ఫీల్ గ్రేట్ ప్లెజర్ టు ఇంట్రడ్యూస్ గోనా రెడ్డి గారు టు ద ఆడియన్స్ సో థ్యాంక్ యూ గోనా రెడ్డి గారు యు అక్సెప్టెడ్ అవర్ ఇన్విటేషన్ అండ్ సిజిఆర్ ఇన్విటేషన్ ఆల్సో మీ రిక్వెస్ట్ యూ టు అసోసియేట్ విత్ సిజిఆర్ జస్ట్ లైక్ వాట్ హౌ యు ఆర్ అసోసియేట్ విత్ గాంధీ జ్ఞాన్ పరిషత్ థ్యాంక్ యూ గోనా రెడ్డి గారు అండ్ నౌ ఐ రిక్వెస్ట్ యూ టు యాక్చువల్లీ గివ్ యువర్ వాల్యుబుల్ స్పీచ్ Thank you for introducing me, for your kind words, Supadhi Reddy Garu. I congratulate Leela Madam, Lakshma Reddy Garu, Dr. Sai Bhaskar Garu, Madhav Reddy Garu, for doing a wonderful job. In fact, I have attended many meetings organized by CGR, especially their wonderful work on God's వెస్ట్రన్ ఘాట్స్ ఉపేంద్ర రెడ్డి గారు మీరు చెప్పినటువంటి అన్ని అభిప్రాయాలతో ఐ మీన్ అగ్రిమెంట్ విత్ యూ దట్ త్రూ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ వీ కెన్ మేక్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ చేంజ్ వీ కెన్ ఫైట్ దిస్ క్లైమేట్ చేంజ్ ఆల్సో బట్ అన్ఫార్చునేట్లీ వాట్ ఈస్ హ్యాపెనింగ్ ఇన్ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూషన్స్ దట్ వీ హెవ్ అబ్జర్వ్ ఆర్ from theory to practice only 1% of the institutions are going yeah as mentioned by bother reddy garu dates ko tuda tells ko tuda but at the practice lo matram cheyatle for example supreme court yoga abdur ves swalla environment and science ne oka compulsory subject ga pedda you know what is happening now routine ga exam jarugutundi project reports are also prepared based on others so nobody is going and studying the nature yeah. what are the causes for this climate change what are the remedies what we have let in our classrooms through textbooks through curriculum are we able to implement it in our day to day life in fact every education institution every house every office government office should become a model model for practical experiments for example narendra modi was telling repeatedly catch rain where it when it falls you know pretty well that it all it's to all multi purpose where now we have government junior colleges two three acres land is there when rain falls nobody is catching it nobody is conserving it nobody is preserving it and when there is no water and when there, when there is shortage of water we make who and cry and we can say is government what is the role of a, an education institution can't we store that water the in water can we improve increase the ground water level of the ground the ground where our edu- education institution is there with this motive through our foundation that is government and public foundation that go to sandbox we have educated we have motivated hundreds of farmers to construct farm parks to construct bore well recharge pits through which now they are able to cultivate even in hot summer even in our government rural for boys where more than 3000 students are standing down where two colleges are running now we have constructed a pond to preserve water we have constructed two borewell 
recharge pills through which we are able to recharge the ground with rain water now there is no shortage of water in government to recover for boil water this we have done as a model only to educate students who are coming to the institution only to motivate teachers who are coming for the spot village in camp every year twice they come here i want to show them this as a role model unfortunately most of the teachers most of the students they are unable to replicate the same principle in their institutions in their areas my passion is my desire is that every student should become should be converted into a change maker he should become a change maker they should be able to identify a problem in their area and come out with a solution with their creativity with their innovative minds if if motivated they can start the job from their house from their college then they can change the whole atmosphere in the habitation where they are living i mean their village or the locality they live this this is a practical knowledge we are expecting from each and every students then only the purpose of education is fulfilled otherwise it's of no use at all that is the very reason we are trying to educate students through various projects we have taken a group of students from edu college to share them to show them this is how we have constructed a farm part in a field and how the farmer is able to cultivate even the hot summer with the with the water stored in that farm part with the water that is recharged there if they replicate in their house in their farm then the purpose is fulfilled this is what we are supposed to do to our education institutions so in my view as mentioned by gandhi ji there must be sustainable development without causing any harm to the nature that's what mentioned by madhuri ji garu that's what mentioned by mgen ji garu every institution it was established in the year by rivers at close to the nature why so that they can develop the relation with the nature they should know what is the reason for the soil erosion the present day generation they do not have any idea about how to recharge the soil it's very easy to recharge the soil now we are learning through textbooks but we are not able to implement it that is a lack you know in our curriculum and pedagogy this can be done only our teachers are innovative in their approach towards teaching and learning practices every student is capable of implementing it experimenting it provided they are motivated so they should be motivated in such a way that they should learn how to use water they should know water management they should know waste management i tell you one example there are 3000 students studying in my college government junior college for professional quota if the 3000 students are given 10 minutes time to clean the premises they can do it immediately and segregate plastic and non plastic wet items non wet items they can segregate it this i have done it experimentally twice when i was a bit one of the college if it is done at least once a week in each and every institution the institution can be clean and if a student is adopt one tree plants one tree and adopts it if he wants it as long as he is studying with the institution they can develop greenery on the premises there all these things you know if they are motivated they can do it unfortunately they lack motivation our teachers also lack that kind of orientation these two things are lacking in our curriculum that is the problem of our education system today 
So what I appeal to all the teacher friends is that what we teach through the textbooks in the classrooms, they should be able to do it, replicate it in their day-to-day life, the, in, the, in, in the habitations they live. What is happening in our images? I, I, I have just sent two uh, messages to you, Brother Edgar. Yeah. The message is, is very clear. Because of the road expansion, age old trees have been cut mercilessly in Alwanda town today. Really, tears roll down through my eyes today to see that. They put an opportunity to put in a central good day ceremony. Road expansion, wala. There is bypass road for the Dalgunda. They can expand. They, they can expand that, but through the town, to only for road expansion, they have mercilessly cut hundreds of age-old trees. Then how can we expect to maintain to bring down the global warming if the situation goes like this? This is happening throughout the state now. On one side, we say we have to plant trees. On the other side, they are mercilessly cutting trees. This should be balanced. So every student, every student become a present group today to break pressure of the government that they should not cut any tree. If you want to take up any activity, you do it without harming the nature. This can be done only students with the help of non-governmental organizations, if they work as pressure groups and bring pressure on the government to implement policies in such a way that it does not harm the nature, then only we can expect what is propagated by Gandhiji hundreds of years sustainable development. The principle that is suitable to our soil, not imitating everything that is Western. In the name of Western culture, we are imitating everything. What about the mother starters? Ram Chindam Jaramon say, Mahapada gave it to you. You want a water, you want a day, you want a Karuna, it's a people to create the Paradise of Chalavan. So that kind of health system, that kind of you know, education, we have forgotten. We have forgotten the way of Indian way of living, Indian culture. Indian tradition because of blindly following the Western systems. That's why Gandhiji told, what is not, a good, not suitable to our soil and our culture, let us not imitate it blindly. And second point, Kalam said, Pura, providing urban amenities in rural areas. That way, you can stop this urbanization, pollution, and etc. But we have forgotten what he told us. He has also told us very clearly, this is the only livable planet we have. Let us protect it. Let us preserve it. The great teachers, what they told us, let us recollect. Let us rededicate ourselves to the noble cause of protecting our nature, our culture, and take up developmental activities without causing any harm to our nature and our water bodies. When I see Musi River polluted, really, I'm greatly disappointed to see how Musi River within the city, how it is totally spoiled. It is unable to carry the water, clean water now. Why? Because the government is blind towards the developmental activities. City Just nearby CPS Central Bus Depot. private bus Then how can you develop? So this kind of harmonization. This kind of development we don't require. So we have to educate the future generations which are being trained in our hands today, in our education institutions. Let them learn 
water management. Let them let the soil management. Let them let the waste management. And let them let what is development. So that what they have led to the classrooms, they can experiment it and they can effectively implement it in their day to day life. Uh, this is what we expect through our students in our education institutions. That is what being done practically by Bekunji sir, Madhavar Edigar, Leela Bedam, Sai Bhaskar Edigar, and great legendary educationist, my friend, Vedan Edigar. So with these few words, I thank once again CGR for organizing this wonderful webinar. And as I asked, as the question by my friend Vedra Edgar, I am prepared to join my hands with CGR in protecting our nature, in educating our people about sustainable development. That's what we are doing our, through our foundation also. Even today, we are working with the 20,000 farmers who are motivated to take up only organic farming. Farming without harming the nature. This is our slogan. And this is being practically implemented in Alwunda district through our 20,000 farmers who are now capable of preserving water. They can catch water where and when it falls. And now they are capable of doing organic farming. This can be done if everybody is involved voluntarily and do it activities in a mission board. Thank you very much, Pedro Edigaru. Thank you, uh, Gona Edigaru. You raised a very important question. What is development? This needs to be discussed uh, threadbare, actually. And uh, you also said that there are two lacunas in our entire system. One is the nature connect. Education or children are not being connected to the nature. The other thing is the community connect. Education, education institutions, confined to four walls, but they never connect, have a connect with the community. So nature connect and the community connect will make education a holistic activity. Uh, and another thing is that uh, exposure also. So children actually, uh, children uh, suffer lack of exposure and uh, teachers are not being motivated actually, because you've given an example also. Uh, whatever the water conservation systems have developed in government junior college, though the lectures came and uh, have, have seen and have actually uh, 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 understood the process, but they are unable to take uh, replicate the same practice in other way. So not really, and uh, uh, because attitudes are more important at that level of teachers where 40 years, 50 years old, attitudes cannot be changed, but attitudes can be changed, can be uh, improved. Uh, at uh, early ages, especially at student life. So let us uh, look forward for your uh, connected to the CGR now, because CGR really become a very good motivating and inspiring uh, agency now, actually attracting several activists. And you are a great activist in terms of uh, organic farming and in education. We request you to associate with uh, CGR. I am also recently just started associating with CGR. Thank you, Gonar Digar. Thank you so Thank much you. for your emotional uh, 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 contact uh, uh, attack with the this nature and this type of developments. Thank you. Mm -hmm.